up until not all that long ago, we saw omega-3s as something that was good for your heart. We didn't really look at it in a lot of other forms. But now we're seeing science popping up everywhere and studies left and right talking about how omega-3s have a powerful effect on recovery. Not just muscle recovery, but even heart rate recovery and even anti-catabolic properties in between your workouts. They're a huge tool to use when it comes down to your post-workout nutrition, but also when it comes down like even in between your workouts. And this is where SmartFish comes into play. You see, SmartFish combines the power of omega-3s alongside specific amino acids and specific carbohydrate combinations that can allow for a proper recovery. But I don't wanna focus just on that. I wanna focus on how omega-3s are starting to pave the way when it comes down to performance recovery. So the first study that I wanna talk about talks about muscle soreness. This was published in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine. Okay, and it found that when test subjects were given omega-3s for a period of time, they had about a 15% reduction in muscle soreness compared to those that did not have omega-3s. This is a very positive thing when you're looking at just trying to get back into your workout or back into your routine as quickly as possible. But it doesn't stop there, there's more, okay? Now we're seeing research talking about heart rate recovery. Okay, now heart rate recovery is how quickly your heart rate can come back down after an intense spike up. Okay, if it comes back down quick, then yeah, that's good heart recovery and you're able to probably be a better athlete at that rate. Well, interesting research that came out of the Fatty Acid Research Institute. Okay, it found that if subjects had a higher omega-3 index, meaning they were consuming more omega-3s in general, their heart rate recovery was significantly better. Their heart rate would come back down much faster. This is ideal in just about every performance setting you could imagine. You get your heart rate up and kick back into that parasympathetic nervous system. But now there's some new studies coming out in the world of anti-catabolic research too. Anti-catabolic means anti-muscle breakdown, right? So in between your workouts, you always wanna make sure that you are recovering well, but not so much that you're taking so much time off you're wasting muscle. Well, this study was published in the journal FASEB, okay? And it took a look at two groups. One group consumed sunflower oil as a placebo, and the other group consumed omega-3 fish oil, or omega-3 as in five gram supplement, okay? Well, then what they did is they immobilized one of the subject's legs, okay? So they took all the subjects and they immobilized their leg, and they're like, okay, well, let's see who atrophies or who loses muscle. Well, the sunflower oil placebo group lost 6% of their leg mass whereas the omega-3 group had no significant change. And the omega-3 group also bounced back to recovery significantly faster. Now I include this in this video because this is so important when you look at overall just injury prevention recovery, right? If you are properly recovering with omega-3s and you have a nice omega-3 index, then it makes it so that you can potentially recover if you do get injured. But also there is the hypothesis that you could prevent injury a little bit more given that situation. But when you look at the big picture of how fish oil and how omega-3s and EPA and DHA actually help with recovery, you do have to look at protein synthesis as well. And you might be thinking, it's a fat. What do fats have to do with protein synthesis? Well, there are studies that demonstrate that omega-3s help phosphorylate what's called P70S6K, which stimulates protein synthesis. So quite virtually, if you were to have omega-3s alongside your protein, there is a possibility that you can improve your protein synthesis by up to 50%, at least as studies have indicated. So you get more protein synthesis out of the protein you consume by potentially adding omega-3s into the mix. But there's ways that you can enhance that, and that's where SmartFish has really nailed it because we've been able to figure out exactly what kind of goes into this equation. Obviously, carbohydrates to a small degree can spike a tiny bit of insulin, which allows protein to do its job. Then you have things like leucine. Okay, leucine is an amino acid that stimulates what's called mTOR. mTOR kickstarts muscle recovery and kickstarts recovery. And then of course you combine that with the EPA and DHA of good quality fish oil. Okay, that triple threat combination right there can leave you with a lot of recovery potential. And SmartFish is interesting because they have not only a high protein version that has some whey protein, but they also have ones that are fortified with vitamin D as well and focus more so on the different omega-3 values. So they have a high omega-3 version that's a little bit more rich in the EPA and DHA. And then they have some other versions that you can sip on throughout your workout, post-workout, intra-workout, whatever you need to do. So anyhow, when it comes down to recovery, we have to start looking beyond the just typical rice cakes and chicken breasts. We have to start looking at what the earth is giving us to really truly be able to fine tune ourselves to be the best performers possible. I'll see you soon.